We are moving into the latter stages of the European qualifiers, and that means that the big boys are coming out to play. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. We're going to be looking at the UEFA Champions League third qualifying round. We're going to be looking at the Europa Conference League third qualifying round, and more importantly, we're going to be looking at the Scottish teams that are in action. Rangers, Hearts and Hibs all representing Scotland, all hoping to not only book their place in the next round but also improve and increase the Scottish coefficient because that's what it's all about like we need to understand if you want to keep enjoying these good moments if you want two teams in the Champions League if we want the third place team to be guaranteed group stage football then we need to keep the coefficient up we need it to be high and we need to start winning games in Europe and unfortunately last season took a major toll on the coefficient. Every team in Scotland was shocking, from Mullerwell to Dundee United to Hearts to Celtic and to Rangers. Look, out of all the teams, probably Dundee United, I'd give them the most credit, because even though the 7-0 defeat against Altma was embarrassing, at least they got that really good win. That win against Altma was a better win than any other team in Scotland got last year, so at least Dundee United got a win, Mullerwell losing twice to Sligo Rovers, God almighty, and then this season we didn't go off to the best start with Hibs losing in Andorra, but they did rectify the situation, they bounced back, they got a 6-1 win in the second leg, and they got themselves through to the next round, so hopefully Rangers, Hibs and Hearts can all do the business this time around, but first of all we're going to focus on Rangers, they are in the Champions League third qualifying round, the league path, two ties away if you get into the Champions League group stages, but fear not, whether Rangers lose against Servette, or even if they lose in the next game, in the playoffs, they're guaranteed Europa League football, so either way, Rangers will have group stage football, it's just a matter of finding out which competition it is going to be in, and I've heard people say that Rangers should be looking to enter the Europa League, because it's a competition that realistically they can go further in, whereas the Champions League they ain't going to do well and, you know, they're going to get humped. And I can understand that. I can understand where people are coming from. But I, I disagree. The Champions League is where the money's in. You want to be in the Champions League. The Champions League where all the big boys play. You've got to thrive. You've got to aim for the Champions League. Plus, with the Champions League, if you finish third in the group, you still drop to the Europa League anyway. So I think you want to be in the Champions League. The Champions League is where it's at. I'm not saying the Europa League doesn't matter. I'm not saying the Europa League is a poor competition. But it's night and day. It's not the elite level in European football. So for me, if you're wanting Rangers to lose in the next two games, I just don't understand that mentality. You want to be in the Champions League with all the massive clubs, the elite clubs. And even if you can't finish in the top two, in most groups you've got at least got a chance of finishing third. You know, it's very rare that you would get a group where it's unthinkable that you can beat any of the teams, you know, that, that uh, that's unlikely to happen. I know last season there was a group with Barca, Inter and Bayern, but that was a one-off. Normally you never get groups like that. So for me, you've got to be aiming for the Champions League. So will Rangers get past Ser Fett? Well, they haven't started the season that well. If you asked me last year, at the end of the season, with Raskin coming in, Cantwell coming in, Michael Beale closing the gap to Celtic, I would have said Rangers will navigate through this no problemo. I would have said Rangers will be playing Champions League football. But if you look at the pre-season, they've got rid of some players. They've brought in a lot of attacking players. And I'm not being impressed with them so far. Really having Dessos, Danilo, Lamos, you name them. They haven't looked that good to me. Now, it might take them time. They might come good. Who knows? Maybe in a few weeks, a few games time, we're going to see Rangers just destroying teams. That might happen. But right now, it's not happening. And Rangers need it to happen soon or else they could find themselves out of the Champions League. But as bad as they were against Kelly, I still think they'll turn up at Ibrox in this European tie against Servet. Servet, a team that I believe finished 21 points behind Young Boys last season, surely Rangers are good enough to, to beat Servet, even if they don't play to their best, even if they deliver a similar performance against uh, Kilmarnock, surely they're, they're going to do enough to get a win in the first tie. I think they will. I think they'll do it. I think they'll go attacking. I think we'll see a lot of attacking players, and I think we'll see a Rangers win. So I'm going to go with Rangers to beat Servet. 
by two goals to one. I think it will be close. I think it will be tight. I definitely think it will go to the second leg with the uh, tie still in the open, still in the balance. But I believe Rangers will leave Ibrox with a win. A narrow win, but a win nonetheless. Now, PSV did take on Sturm Graz tonight. That finished 4-1 PSV. The reason that's important is that Rangers would get the winner of that tie if they beat Servette. So at the moment, it's looking like Rangers have a spot with PSV in the playoffs. And that is, of course, if they can get past Servette. Because Sturm, Sturm Graz lost 4-1. I don't see them turning that around. Definitely not. So it's likely going to be a repeat of last year. Who's stronger? Are PSV stronger than they were last year? Are Rangers stronger than they were last year? Are both teams stronger? I think it'll be an interesting tie. I'm looking forward to it, but first of all, Rangers do need to get past Servette. We move into the Europa Conference League now, and yet again, it's an all Scotland versus Switzerland tie. We have Hibernian taking on Lucerne. And people are going to think, how did Hibernian have a chance if they lost to a team for Andorra? How can they beat a team for Switzerland? That's a good question, because if Hibs play the way they played against FC Inter, they will get smashed. The first leg, they were shocking. Second leg, yeah, they look good, but at the same time, how much positivity can we take from a result against a team for Andorra? People can praise Hibs, say that their attack and flow, you know, they look really good, but they were against a team for Andorra. I mean, if they didn't look good, there'd be a major fucking problem. So I'm not taking that much confidence for that game with Hibs going into this match against Lucerne. On paper, it's definitely a winnable tie. I think if you look at the Hibs squad, it should be able to compete with Lucerne. But they've got Lee Johnson in charge. And Lee Johnson has shown over the past couple of years that he just isn't that good. I don't rate Lee Johnson. I don't think he will take Hibs where they want to be. And I do think it's only a matter of time before Lee Johnson bites the bullet. Now, if Hibs get knocked out against Lucerne, if they don't start picking up some results, then maybe his time will be up sooner rather than later. I believe in terms of the sack race, he is like second favourite to get sacked. So we'll find out. For Hibs, though, can they get a result at home? Realistically, they need a good result because I don't think they'll turn it around in Switzerland. If they lose this tie, I don't see them going away and pulling it back against Lucerne. So I think Hibs need a result at Easter Road. And if they do win this, they will be taking on Aston Filler. I mean, what an initiative that is to get John McGinn back at Easter Road. Everyone wants to see that tie. Hibs versus Aston Villa. It would be a great match to watch. So hopefully they can do it. Will they do it though? I'm not too sure. First leg, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go Hibs 2, Lucerne 1. I think they will just sneak victory here, but I'm not super confident. And at the same time, if Lucerne came away with a 4-0 win, I wouldn't be shocked because Hibs are that sort of side. You know, they can turn up, they can put in a good display, they can get a result, or they can just fucking hips it in typical hips fashion, and they can be shite. So we'll just have to see on the night what hips turn up. And then finally, we've got Rosenberg in Norway taking on Heart of Midlovian. A winnable tie for Hearts, let's be honest. Ten years ago, I think you'd be looking at this thinking, you know, Hearts are up against it. Hearts are massive underdogs, but Rosenberg are no longer that side. They're not this massive European team that they used to be. wasn't that long ago Rosenberg were in the Champions League drawn with the likes of Real Madrid. But that is a few seasons ago, and now Rosenberg are in the Norwegian League fighting relegation. So, yeah, things can turn pretty quickly in football. Rosenberg are no longer one of those top Norwegian sides that you'd expect to see. And I think Hearts can take advantage of that. I think Hearts can go through in this round. Of course, they will play the winner of the Hajduk split in PAOK tie, but it's all about getting past Rosenberg first. And to do that, they need a good result away in Norway. Can they get it? I think they will. I'm not going to say Hearts win, but I do think they will get a draw. And I'm going to go with Rosenberg 2, Hearts 2. I think 2-2 two, two guys in Norway, and I'd take that. If Hearts can bring it to Tynecastle with the tie level, 
I would be confident of Hearts getting the victory and getting in to the next round. And finally, let's talk a little bit about Derry City here before we go. The only other team from Ireland, Northern Ireland or Wales still in Europe. They're taking on Tobol from Kazakhstan. A very winnable tie from their point of view. And I just wish one of the Scottish teams, I wish Hearts got Tobol because that would be a team that you'd really fancy Hearts have beaten. So I think Derry City have got a good chance here. I think Derry City must be looking to get past Tobal and get in to the playoffs. Will they do it? I think they will. I think we'll see Derry City in the playoffs and that will get them one step closer to qualifying for the group stages. Anyway guys, that is it. Rangers up first tomorrow. Catch you then for the review and of course until next time, peace.